Howdy all, how are we all doing? Um, back with another video. I uh, want to say thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel. Um, there has been a good few of you over the last couple of weeks and it's just warmed my heart. Thank you so much. Um, it really does mean so much when you click that subscribe button. Um, and it gives me the, the, the happiness and the insight to, to come back and do more videos. So again, thank you very much for, for taking the time to hit that subscribe button. Today we are going to look at um, refined storage that we've been looking at throughout the other videos that we have, but this time we're going to look at using functional storage. This is an incredible mod um, when you're early game and you don't have enough of the resources to create these discs. These discs can be quite expensive to make um, and this will only store 1,000 items. Now, to give you an idea, the coal has got 1.2 thousand items already, and I've only set this up about, I don't know, eight minutes ago, uh, just to show you guys what the setup can look like. Um, it's it's such a great way to store bulked items. Um, I've shown just the, the usual ones that I go with, but um, if we look at functional storage, um, you can see that you've got all different color drawers. Uh, you've even got compacting drawers where it will put it into a block form rather than stay in whatever. But if you've got ingots, it will block it, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and then you've got framed stuff so you can change what it looks like uh, to suit your build. Um, and you've also got the 2x2s. Two uh, they are useful, I guess, if you're storing multiple items um, of the same sort of same sort of thing. Um, I like the two by twos just because it's cleaner, and then I use the the ones uh, the one by ones for for logs and uh, cobblestones and things like that. Such, but when I'm working with essences, ingots, things like that, I quite like these two by twos. But uh, sorry, the the uh, the one by twos. Uh, but the the two by twos have their place. Um, they're pretty cool. Now, what we've got here, um, if I look at my grid. This is all of our stuff. Um, so if I then take this disk drive out, um, you can see this is our ice, redstone, uranite, and coal, uh, and some seeds and, and whatnot. Um, so if I look in here, we still have all these items. And so refined storage is still working, uh, but it's all being stored externally into functional storage, which is just such a great system. Um, so all of our items are then being produced from our little mystical agriculture farm there. They are going through that ender, uh, ender chest. And just like our other system there, the ender chest is here. Um, and if we see it's flashing through, going through our importer into our refined storage system. And then that's being sent through our network to these blocks here into this external storage device, this, this sort of external bus into our storage controller. That storage controller is then linked to all of these drawers. So I've locked all these drawers so it stops them just going into all every every drawer. I highly recommend locking them before you connect up your refined storage so you can tell it where to put stuff. Otherwise you might end up with, I don't know, six drawers dedicated to redstone and, I don't know, five drawers dedicated to the uh, fertilized essence, that sort of thing. So make sure you lock it um, before you then connect it to your refined storage system. So I can stick this draw this uh, disc back in. Um, the disc is not needed, as you've seen. Um, it's just nice to have one in there just to get yourself going, um, because obviously you're going to have to get the resources for the drawers. Now the drawers themselves don't cost a lot um, to make. Uh, why did you not type there? That's oh, because you're up in here. Okay. At functional. So if we go and find our one by two. And then wait. So as you can see, actually really cheap. It's just some planks and then two chests. Gives you two of those um, individual sort of systems here. So the one and the two. So it's, it's actually incredibly cheap. Um, and then if we look at the uh, storage controller, uh, that's not the one I want. Uh, this one. Um, this one again is incredibly cheap. You just need to make those the one by one drawers um, and some stone and just a comparator, easy peasy. It's it's such a simple system to make. 
um, what you will need is the linking tool and the locking tool that works so that you can link those drawers uh, so if we go to at funk and get one of them out so this draw here is not linked to this system I've just placed that down so if we then click this you can see the the bounding box um, that is this controller so anywhere within this bounding box you can put as many of these as you like um, as long as it sits within this here bounding box it's quite a lot of space really if you consider how many boxes you could probably fit into this area that's actually a lot of storage running off of a controller so as you can see that's got a big white box around it telling me that I've linked those drawers to that controller so then if I then just this one's not locked if I then link that um, that is now linked to this system um, so if I go in here and I don't know let's grab 64 logs um, and then go over here and then chuck them into the refined storage because all of these drawers are locked these ones are not it then finds itself a home inside this box um, and you can take it out you don't have to have refined storage to take them out um, you can come up here and just left click I'm in creative so it's not gonna let me do that um, you can left click and it'll take one or you can shift left click and it takes a stack um, so it's actually really really easy to take items out if you've got your um, functional storage in a different place to your refined storage I have set this up on a network I really don't need to because it's right next to it but I can set this up on a network that network could be in another dimension so I could have this in my overworld in my base I can have my storage in the end as long as the chunk is loaded um, this can all sit in the end all running through this network receiver um, through refined storage I tend to have these sitting in my base and I start my my whole playthrough starts with getting functional storage and a basic refined storage just so that I've got somewhere to store bulk items so if I go mining and I've got inventories full of cobblestone I've got somewhere for it all to go so I'm not constantly making new chests to put new stuff in um, I, I can just stick it all straight into um, all straight into the, the the functional storage and then I can access it all through here and then if I want to I can get the wireless controller um, and then I can then access my system anywhere um, and it all accesses this because it's all coming through refined storage it is such an awesome system and so easy to set up so if we look at what we've got here let's take um, this one and this one and uh, let's grab this one let's go over here um, so we've got our creative controller because we're in creative why not um, we've got our crafting grid um, this allows us to access all of our items um, and then we have our disk drive um, so what I've done over here is in the importer I've put some speed upgrades because otherwise the amount of stuff coming through the ender chest the system just can't keep up um, the importer is just too slow um, to get it all into the system so I've stuck some speed upgrades into this uh, so let's move these up and out of the way for a moment um, so let's grab the importer um, and then we can stick that down in here um, what we want actually is a block to place that onto like so we can get rid of that why are you not getting rid of that I don't think I've claimed any of these no oh how strange the gremlins um, and then we can get our our uh, controller so let's go and grab the controller so I've shown you this here um, wirelessly uh, using the network I will wire this one in just so you can see that it can be wired in as well um, all right so we're gonna want a new one of them because that one's linked to the other one so let's grab a new one of those out like so right so we've got these drawers so let's let's take these drawers so these are not attached in any way to this controller but they are in its bounding box so let's just chuck a bunch down uh, like so and like so right so we've got a bunch of drawers none of them are locked they are all sitting there just on their own so we take our linking tool and we 
just right click on the controller and now this is linked to that controller and that controller is highlighted. So then we just right click on all these new storage drawers um, and now they are linked to this storage controller. So everything that goes into this controller will then go into these drawers. Now, like I was saying earlier, I highly recommend that you right click your link uh, locking tool so that you get these little padlocks on these drawers that then stops these drawers just from filling up wherever they want to fill up. Um, what we will do is we can grab, um, let's grab one of each of these essences, uh, like so. And then what we can do here is we can predetermine where we want these essences to go. Let's, let's move some of this off of my hotbar. We don't need these just yet. Um, like so. So we've got coal over here. Let's chuck those there. Let's chuck them up there. Some of them here. And I don't know, we'll have the uranite down there. So they are all now set up. Um, so we want to get rid of this one. So it's using R1. Let's get this external storage bus. Um, so this is refined storage, external storage. A um, bit like the importer, but this one's for external storages only. Um, we shift and right click on there to place it. Now, if you want all of your items to go into these drawers before using your disk drives, you need to go into the external storage bus, click priority and just give it a bit more priority than standard. So this is zero. You need to keep in mind your main storage, your refined storage is zero on priority. So everything will go to your, your disk drives by default. Now, if you want to make sure that doesn't happen, it goes elsewhere, you need to give it more priority. So a higher priority. Now you could give this, I don't know, 100 if you want, if you have multiple different things happening. Um, but just one on the priority for what we're doing here is perfectly fine. That then allows this to be uh, used over the storage on the, the drives. So let's link these together. The beauty of refined storage is this can go into any one of the refined storage blocks. Um, it doesn't have to go into the controller or the grid. It can go into any block attached to the refined storage system. So this is now linked to this. Um, so let's get our uh, ender chest back out and stick on to our importer. Um, and as you can see, there are items here and they are starting to go in. As you can see, it, it backs up. So we just need to chuck a couple of speed upgrades in here and you can see it speeds up. And now we look over here um, and we can see that things are starting to flow in. And that's with no disk in our drive. There is no disks here. All of it is happening into functional storage, which is pretty awesome in its own right, really. Um, so just making sure that you have that on a higher priority. You can see the, the amount of items you can store within what this is without any upgrades. This will hold 20,000 items just on its own without putting like upgrades into them. Um, these upgrades you can see here are copper, gold, and diamond, and netherite. They're they're tiered um, respectively, um, and then you have void upgrades. So if it gets to the point where they've reached their max, uh, then it will then want to void them out. But yeah, that's it. That's that's our little video for today. It shows you how simple you can get bulk storage without having the cost of all the refined storage discs. Hope this helps. If it has. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.